Namaste everyone. Today I will teach a yoga for women during menstruation. And you can do this yoga during your period. And this yoga is very beneficial for your during period, for your pain, back pain and many more. So, first you open your both legs. We will do Paschimottanasana or you can tell in English forward bend pose. So for that, first open your both legs and join your both feet together. Do not hunch your back. Try to spine straight. Yes. And then from here, inhale. Raise your hand, straight your body upward first and then exhale. With breathing, go down. Catch your heel. If you cannot go down, just stay in half. But don't hunch your back, spine straight. If you can, then go deep as much you can and stay here. Only for seven counts. Seven. Breathing normal. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one more. Inhale, center, and then exhale, release. Now from here, second portion. Second portion name is Ek Pada Raj Kapoot Asana. So. You can tell in English peasant pose. So for coming in peasant pose, you bring your right leg back. Yes. And bend your knee. Left knee. Bend your right leg here. Try to knee and ankle in one line. And then left to outside. Try do not to sit like this. Try to upper thigh on your mat. So roll your hip, connect your upper thigh on your mat, catch your knee and ankle and then from here slowly look up. Stay here for 7 counts, breathing normal, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one now from here place your palm change your legs so place your palm see left leg back right leg forward yes now from here once again try to knee and your heel in one line yes and then once again catch your knee and heel shift your body weight this time to the left Yes, and stay here. One. Very good. Two. Look up. Three. You will feel a good stretch in your spine. Four. And stretch in your upper thigh. Five. Now slowly come back, come to the center, yes, so slowly come to the center. Now from here we will do Titaliyasana or you can tell in English butterfly pose. So for butterfly pose, bend your both knees one by one and join your both feet together. Here, you can see. Join your both feet together, catch your ankle and try to connect your heel on your hip joint. Close your feet maximum inside. Interlock your fingers and catch your feet. Both knees try to on the ground in each jerk. So continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now from here we will do Sulabha Kurumasana. Or you can tell in English simple toratize pose so for that catch your ankle and then just bring your leg one step forward yes or little bit more is okay do as much you are comfortable now from here place your both hand inside 
and then catch your feet and then slowly go down stay here one two spine try to straight as much you can three four five and seven now from here slowly come back come to the center yes open your legs shake your leg one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten. now from here we will do cat pose or uh, you can t cat pose or you can tell in hindi marjari asana so from here bend your both knees and come to the cat pose here i will decide so you can see me more clear so a part to knee in your heel your knee in one line so a part to knee in your waist level here don't do like this don't go forward in center knee and waist in center now from here take a breath inhale arch your back look up and then exhale down cat pose inhale up cow pose exhale down do seven times inhale up exhale down when you complete seven times then inhale up and arch your back stay here for seven counts seven six five Four, three, two, and one. Now exhale, hunch your back, cow pose. Seven, chin. Try to on your chest. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now slowly from here, come to the center. Yes. Now from here we will do tiger pose, or you can tell in Hindi Andhra Asana. So from here, Pyandra Asana. So from there, raise your right leg up, and then bend your knees, and try to arch your back as much you can. Stay here. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and seven. Slowly come back, and then change your leg, other leg. Inhale, left leg up, and then bend the knees, arch your back. Look up. Seven, six, five, four, three. Two and one. Now slowly come back. Come to the center. Yes. Sit on your heel. Now from here, we will do. From here we will do uh, Supta Virasana, or you can tell Sleeping Thunderbolt pose. So for that, from here, sit on your heel, and then drop your both elbows. Now from here, arch your back, head on the ground, and try to arch your middle back. Connect your, catch your first both elbow, and then slowly look up. Arch your middle back. Yes, and look up. One. Breathing normal. Two. Three. Four, five. This posture is very good for back pain. Five during insulation. Six and seven. Now from here, slowly catch your feet, support of your elbow. Slowly come to the center. 
yes now from here we will do child pose so inhale raise your hand and then exhale straight your hand forward one two three breathing normal continue four five and seven. now inhale center and exhale release slowly come to the center now from here lie down on your back so doing lie down postures so open your both legs first And then from here, slowly drop your both elbow and lie down on your back. Yes. Now from here we will do Sukta Tetli Asana or you can tell in English Sleeping Butterfly. So for Sleeping Butterfly pose you bend your both knees. Yes. And from here join your both feet together. You can see my feet and heel and toe is together. And then from here hand side of your body and stay here body relax take a deep breath inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale breathing continue seven counts three four body relax Five, six, and seven. This pose will reduce your back pain during period. Now from here, slowly open your both legs. Now from here, next posture called Pavan Mukta Asana. Or you can tell Sulbu Sulabu Pavan Mukta Asana or in English you can tell simple gas releasing pose so for that bend your one knee and then bend your both knees one by one and from here catch your knee hug your knee catch your elbow and stay here one two three four Beside menstruation, this posture is very good for your gas related problem. Five, six, and seven. Now slowly come back, come to the center, and then once again open your both legs. Yes. Now from here, we will do Supta Maschandra Asana, or you can tell Supine Spinal Twisting so for that hand once again in shoulder level and then from here feet together bend your right knee first yes now from here twist your lower body to the right and look left don't lift the shoulder try to shoulder on the ground and stay here one two three four five six and seven again with breathing inhale center exhale open your leg now from here change your leg left leg inhale bend your left leg and then exhale bend to the right look to the left one breathing continue two three shoulder try to on the ground four five six 
and seven now inhale center and then exhale slowly open your leg now after finishing all these postures all this sequence apart to leg and apart to your hand palm facing up and then close your eyes and take a relaxation about three to five minutes after finishing three to five minutes when you sit down how you sit down look at me from here join the both feet together and then interlock your fingers palm facing up straight your hands up toe down now bend your both knees one by one eyes are still closed now hug your knees and then from here raise your right hand up over the head and turn your body to the right side and slowly support of your left palm sit in simple cross leg so which posture you must avoid during your menstruation period you don't do inverse posture such as like uh, shoulder stand head stand uh, sarvangasana these all you must avoid because uh, because uh, if you do this that shift your apana energy which is believed to flow from your navel to cervix in the direction you don't want during your menstruation normally reserving this flow uh, in a inversion can increase your energy but during your period it considered to be going against the against the natural flow of your body so don't do that <coughs> and in worst posture do cause the uterus to shift toward to the head which can lead the over stretching over stretching and increasing flow of blood meaning possibly a heavier period so period cycle so do not do this and you must avoid extreme pose such as a deep back bending deep twisting postures in deep back bending like a wheel pose and balancing arm balancing posture especially peacock pose this all you don't do because don't do that all posture which is putting a lot which is taking a lots of strength from your core that is not good for your for your uterus during menstruation so namaste thank you please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and i will post most valuable more more valuable things in my next video so keep watching my channel namaste